In my last video, where I showed you how to make a fidget spinner out of gallium, I set up a poll to ask if you'd like me to make more, and there was an overwhelming majority who said yes. So this week I'm going to put out a number of videos showing you how to make different designs. Today we're going to be making a spiral effect. Start by taking some plasticine, take off a piece which we'll be using later, then push it out flat onto a tray. Next, take a mug with a nice flat bottom like this and push it down onto the plasticine. You can fold up any plasticine around it to make a lip. Then remove the mug. For a bearing, I bought these skateboard wheel bearings cheaply from the internet. And we need to place one in the centre of our mould. If you like, you can use a ruler to make sure it's central. Once you're happy with that, take the other piece of plasticine and roll it out into a nice long worm. Try to make sure it's a nice consistent diameter. Then you can fold it around itself and chop it into two. Take one length and starting from the outside edge, carefully spiral it across the mould until you get to the bearing, like this. Then take your other length of plasticine and do exactly the same again, starting from the other side. Try to make it as symmetrical as possible. Next we need to take some gallium. I've got these blocks left over from a previous project and melt them in some nice warm water. When it's all liquid, suck it up in a syringe and remove any water. Then it's ready for you to pour into the mould. Pretty cool, huh? To make it stronger, I decided to remove these bits of plasticine so the gallium forms a ring around the bearing. Leave it to cool down so it goes hard again, then carefully remove it. If you like, you could leave the plasticine in place, or go ahead and remove it. And there's our gallium fidget spinner complete. If you want to, you can remove the bearing centre caps from another spinner and fit them to yours. This one is actually pretty well balanced, and it looks really cool. It feels pretty heavy and really solid. If you get it too warm, it will melt again, so do be careful. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, there'll be more coming soon, and if you want to find out more information about gallium, you can take a look at my other videos. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.